Good morning, people. It's the morning walk with Solomon and Sean on this day 72 of the 98 days of summer. And I got to tell you, I am fired up today. But before I get fired up, here is Solomon the Golden. He's fired up in his walk this morning. Can you tell? He's just going. He wants to get where we're going. He's got a vision for today's walk. So why am I fired up on this day 72 of the 98 days of summer? Let me tell you. I had a conversation yesterday, or really, let's just call it a very brief exchange on LinkedIn Messenger, where I have been, I have been attempting to have this one social media influencer who shall remain nameless, uh, on my show, Litvak Leadership Live, which is Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern, which airs tonight, Tuesday at 7 p.m., special guest Randy Chafee, but we'll get more to that in a moment. Um, but I've been attempting to have this LinkedIn influencer and just a social media influencer in general. I will give this individual that much credit on my live stream and... This individual's front person has messaged me and wants to know what this individual is going to get out of it. And is my audience large enough? And is the engagement strong enough? Well, they can't tell if my audience is large enough. Uh, because I know how large my audience is. Now, when I say my audience large enough... I know how people approach me, how people message me privately uh, about the posts that I put up. But regardless, on Litvak Leadership Live, no, the audience is not huge. And I think there's more lurkers than actual engagers, which is something I need to work on. I give that. But what this influencer told me, or really the influencer's front person, is I have no audience and I have no engagement. And you know what? I respect their opinion and it's fired me up because I know my people are out there I know when I attend national events in the industry I've been in for years people come up to me and talk about my posts I know when I attend local events people come up to me and talk to me about my posts we have to accept feedback all right I, I really need to think about this and Last night I was working with someone who came to me very frustrated and said, I have no vision in my life. I'm in my 50s and I just have no vision. And I, I listened to this person for a while and I, I said to them, I said, can I ask you a question? And, and they were responsive to that. I said, what is your calling? And the person said, no, no, you don't understand. I don't have vision in my life. I said, yeah, I get that. But what is your calling? What are you called to do? And, and, and since this is a faith person, I said, what has God called you to do in your life? And we started making a list. And when I say we, I sat there. And this individual made a list of 10, 10, 10 things that God has called this individual to do in their life. And I said, cool, you've got 10, 10 callings. Let's talk about the first one. What's the end of that? What do you want to accomplish with that? What do you think God has put that in you for, for you to achieve? And they wrote down for that one thing, six different outcomes. Six! Six different outcomes. Then they moved on to number two. But once they got on to number three, they looked at me, smiled and said, okay, I don't need you to sit with me and do this now. I'll come back and talk to you later after I've worked on it. And here's the thing. How are those two stories related? Well, I do need to work on my engagement. I do need to, if, if I'm going to post and I'm going to change the world, 
in the way that I, God has told me to change the world. I need to get people to engage with me. Absolutely. And I need to work on that. But on a one-on-one -on -one basis with someone who is willing and wants to discover their vision for their life, I got that person to engage and they were upset. They were out there. So I hear you individual who told me that I have no engagement and I don't have a following. I hear you loud and clear. You want to see metrics. Got it. At the moment, I'm super pleased that I was able to help this one person and other people that I have helped in the past. So when someone tells you, you don't have it going on, uh, sit back, consider what you have done, and then sit down and work on how to create the metrics. Because we all have Michael Jordan greatness inside of us screaming to get out. Yes, that's an Evan Carmichael quote, but it holds true nonetheless. I'm Sean Litvak. This has been The Morning Walk with Solomon and Sean, a Litvak leadership production on this day 72 of the 98 days of summer. Be happy, be well, and most importantly, be blessed in all you do. I will see you later today. See ya.